Hi all, I propose to look at what incidents news anchors, reporters, and live broadcast guests got into and how they reacted to funny incidents. Let's go. The Camera malfunctioned during a UK weather forecast with forecaster Chris Fox. And it stays hot really through the rest of this week before temperatures really start to surge. Uh, oh, it looks like we've got a bit of a gremlin, don't we? We will, we will be back. I'm really sorry, I don't know what's happening to the camera, but Chris, <laughs> keep talking because yes. the cameras are coming right back well, to you. Today's dead easy, you don't need a camera, we've got loads of sunshine across the country. <laughs> oh my god, I never do that! Reporter Lisa Chavarea and reporter Stephen Dial were attacked in the dark. But we still have a lot of questions out here this morning, excuse me. I'm sorry, <laughs> this bug hit my face. Now reporter Jazz Williams is reporting on summer activities at the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara Falls. It's a good day to celebrate something brand spanking new and nothing is newer than the Niagara Falls Boys and Girls Club. Sorry. <laughs> Three, two. It's a good day to celebrate something new and nothing's really newer right now than the Niagara Falls Boys and Girls Club playground facility. You can find it. Oh, God, that's ugly. Hold on a second. I don't like the way that sounds. It's a good day to celebrate something. Looks like we're running into some technical issues with our good friend Jazz over there. We will try to bring you that story in just a couple of minutes. We'll uh, check back in with our editors and Jazz coming up soon. Host Brody Logan tells the story of the clock at the Madera Courthouse. It reminds me of, of my favorite story of a clock restoration. It happened in Hill Valley, California back in 1986. That thing, ever since lightning hit that clock tower, some 20 years before, it was, it was out of commission for a while, and those people were pretty upset. <laughs> really? That's not good. That's, that is, that's the movie Back to the Future, <laughs> Caroline. All right, coming up on KC Midday. Uh, it's a bear story better than any nursery rhyme or children's book. A glimpse of the life of Wilfred the bear and how he got his name. We've got to go back and save Caroline. <laughs> But first, we got a deal for minor cool down today. Doc Brown is extremely disappointed this morning. We'll be right back. Justin McFarland has some exciting news. Dogs in Nashville are being offered free milkshakes. Local restaurant Daddy Dogs is now offering customers a free milkshake if you have proof of a vasectomy. They're calling it a snip for a shake deal. That's just part of... You gonna be all right over there? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, that's happening over at Daddy Dogs. <laughs> Jim Waddell, trying to compose yourself. You know, you sure you don't have any further comment on this story before we move on, Jen? No comment. No comment. You're good. I'm good. On the snip for the shake deal. I'm good. For the vasectomy at Daddy Dogs. We're okay. Okay. We're, I'm with you here. I'm right. still. I, I didn't go completely under. The okay. Desk. Good. Good. Glad you stayed here with us, Jen. So again, that's a Daddy Dogs. If you need that free milkshake, that's one way to get it. <laughs> Quit, you need man. A vasectomy. Quit it. <laughs> Moving on. Now you will see the technical difficulties that occurred during the broadcast. Moving on. This will wake you up on a Friday. The Pearl. <laughs> Bye. The Pearl Harp. Bye. Hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Temperatures looking to be in the mid to lower 80s as we head into the uh, later evening hours for tonight. Can't rule out a couple clouds that'll be around. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, <laughs> over here. Meteorologist Zoe Mintz got the names mixed up. Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, Zoe. Oh, uh -huh. good morning, Zoe. Good morning, David. I'm so sorry. You said my name wrong last time. I said my own name right this time. Uh, let's just get past that and get into the weather for today. Ready or not, here it comes. The birds? Did you just see that? Oh, oh. What? I was going to start off with that anyway. But yeah, here comes the birds and here comes the heat. They're getting all ready for what's going to be a very hot day again today. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Now we find out the weather in Australia with host Joe O'Brien and meteorologist Night Burn. Now let's look at the weather. Here is Night Burn. I think we'll get to night eventually. 
Do you want me to step in? Yeah, maybe we need, we need a bit more of Tony. I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> don't walk well, in front of the camera. We've let's got to get sit this camera. Back down. <laughs> um, I, I, here we go. We do have Tony. Um, yeah, tell us what's happening down in Melbourne today with the weather, Tony. Um, well, Melbourne down here, um, uh, sunny day today. I think we're getting to a top of 14, um, pretty clear. So get your washing done today. Um, apologies to all the people who want uh, Outlook for everywhere else. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on. I've actually got the auto cue here now. Well, um, southerlies have been causing hazardous surf for New South Wales, um, uh, but those will be easing today as those winds carry a few more showers into the coast. Queensland has a chance of showers around the Torres Strait and for the southeast coast and islands. But clear skies everywhere else means some widespread morning frost for the interior. Um, and I don't know what that means. Oh, severe weather warnings. Gee whiz, I don't know what's going on behind me, Joe. I'm doing my best, though. I'm doing Hang my on. best. Vancouver, we're all over the place. <laughs> Tony Armstrong can do anything. He is amazing. He's at Norfolk Island. He's at Nomea. He's Vancouver. He's got it all going on. Cheers, Tony. Right, I'm out. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, Nate Byrne ready there. But, uh, um, yeah, just uh, terrific to have the man who can do anything, Tony Armstrong, filling in for a moment. Reporter Brooke Butler and Mayor Shirley Sessions are joined by a nice interviewee. My name is Pepper Porch Kitty. She is so funny. I, I swear. She cracks me up. She is. Uh, anyway, to help us. Would you like to say something? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like trying not to laugh. So. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna I know. have to you put this on my in Facebook. The, I know. You are. Well, you are a mascot. Yes, you're the kitty mascot. We know that. One minute. If you can give us one minute, we can finish this. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I can't. Kitty. You're very cute. I, I, I know. I, it's like I'm really trying not to look at her. The area. Catch it up. Sorry. It's actually. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. Like, oh. 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 And the. Uh, this is. Um, if you need to take a moment, the equipment is falling we can come over. Back to you. <laughs> Umbrella is gone. Um, we'll come uh, back to you. This is going to be one of those ones. This will be one of those clips that will go viral, no doubt. Thank you for watching to the end. See you.